going to introduce it. So we're going to try that format and see how it goes. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Ed. I'm Dan. Well, welcome to welcome to Unsolicited. This is the this is the show where we where we take uh, we look at a piece of we look at an advice column from a random advice column from the past and we critique break it. it down, breaking it down. <laughs> yes. it doesn't it. matter when it's from a hundred years ago or yesterday. We are yesterday. we are breaking these things down and we are giving you our our, our unsolicited opinions about these advice columns. Um, so here's how we're going to do it. We're going to read the advice column. We're going to rate it on a scale of one to 10. We're going to read the, we're going to read the questions, rate it on a scale of one to 10. Then we're going to read the advice, rate that on a scale of one to 10. Then we're going to offer our own advice. What the Matt proper. will tell us the quality of the quality of a of transaction here. Yes. Then we're going to offer our own advice, which of course is going to be a 10. Then we're going to challenge ourselves to come up with the worst possible advice for that person. And you are welcome to weigh in on our advice and our and our our thoughts on the whole matter. We are not professionals. Okay, dear Abby, this is December thirtieth, two thousand three. Dear Abby, I am a single mother with an eleven-year-old daughter. We live in a small two-bedroom apartment. My sister, her husband, and their three kids moved in with us from out of state because they didn't like it where they were. When they arrived, my sister said they would only stay for two weeks. That was three months ago. In addition, they're broke. My brother-in-law <gasps> lost his job and is not looking for another one. I work, but make just enough for my daughter and me. They're costing me a fortune. My electricity <laughs> bill has doubled. Plus, there's no privacy. Please help damsel in distress. How do you rate this question, Dan? Ooh, damsel in distress. I feel for you on so many levels. I do. Uh the severity of this question. I mean, she's been living for living with it for a while. You know, I'm going to put it up there with a, a six. I'm going to give it a six. I'm the, going to give this question. I'm giving this question a three. Ooh. And, I'll and I'll tell you why. All right. Because she knows the answer. Oh, she knows the answer. Yeah. Like, yeah, she does. What's, she does. What's the answer? Stand up. Yeah. Sister. See, I was All saying right. six because she can it's live a, with it. She can live with the weight. Yeah, because she, she already yeah. knows the answer. She she yeah, just wants it's, validation. It's exactly what she wants. And yeah, I mean, to me, that's not what advice that. columns are for. Yeah, thank you. Thank the, you. So let's hear the advice. All right. Dear damsel, you've been a supportive sister. Now it's time to draw the line. Set a time and a date for them to move out and stick to it. Enough is enough okay how do you rate the advice how do you rate the advice oh that that advice is shitty it's that, shitty it's it's like a three it's like a uh, three i yeah I'm, I'm gonna say it's a four i mean someone uh, wrote in someone wrote to you and they need your help yeah which yeah, you, you, you phoned just, it in right you you gave them so, like you know like the obvious advice but this isn't see this isn't the advice this 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 is a portion. Yeah, that's how you fix. This I want to know why her family thought like she was the last resort. Oh, we have nowhere else to go. Let's move in with the single mother who yeah, makes so just enough to feed herself and her baby. <laughs> yeah, they why do you have such despair? <laughs> why do you it's like a one bedroom apartment with eight people in it? Like, why do you have such a shitty family? First off. Why do you let yourself be walked out in the first place? If I'm yeah. living, I live, I currently live in a one bedroom apartment. It's a small apartment. Like if three people wanted to come for the weekend, I'd say no. Like I would, I, I was like, going to think you were going to be like, there isn't even enough room for my ego. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. No, but like she says, oh, you've been a supporter. Make yeah. up, make, draw the line. She's going to draw the line and she's going to keep getting walked over her, the rest of her life. Yeah. Abby, you got to get out there and you got to let this lady know how not to be a doormat. And that's by yeah. setting the boundaries before she moves in. Like this is the beginning of the advice. The rest of the advice is in the future. You need to set boundaries for your relationships. You need to recognize that that if you don't have room from the very beginning, say no. Say no because say no. It's oh, what she, the hardest what she, thing to learn to do. There needs to be a subject in school. How to say a, no. Right? Take a breath and say no because what she's doing is not good for her. It's not good yeah. for her kid. And it's not good for the people that are crashing at her house because you're delaying their their development. So anyway, that's crappy advice. But Dan, what do you think the worst advice is for this lady? <sighs> 
I'm gonna First I'm gonna advice, give it a go. Grin and bear it. Just oh. grin and bear it because it's family. Oh, and that's then maybe advice. you know they can help <laughs> you with the bills. They can watch the kid while you go to Taco Tuesday. I'm gonna say the worst advice By I can man. think of is is uh I've 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 heard that it's a lot easier to deal with these sort of stressful situations when you're on um uh when you're on opiates. So I would say taking uh regular opiates would literally kind of like ease Get the some ease prescription that a little drugs bit. Is prescription like, some prescription drugs, drugs some like yeah. some, some like anti-anxiety pain pills stuff like yeah. that like really get a good habit of those going um that won't then, seem as bad and then maybe uh if you really if, if, if you still can't deal with it then i would set the place on fire <laughs> that is some terrible advice ed thank you terrible, thank you i thought it, i thought it was advice <laughs> I thought it was bad. All right. All right. Well, thank you for joining us for another another episode of Unsolicited. We uh, will see it. We'll see you tomorrow.